Hi, I'm going to assemble the uh, wing and the stabilizer for a uh, split decision. I'm going to begin with the stabilizer parts. I've already freed them from the wood. And just to set the stage a little bit, I have uh, some, some medium CA right there, some accelerator, I have some tight bond if I want to use that, and I have a little stick which will come in handy from time to time. And I've already decided this will be my trailing edge, this will be my leading edge. And I'm going to begin by putting the ribs into their uh, slots in the trailing edge. And you've got to be delicate with these things, no question. Um, these thin little ribs, it's, I'm not even sure I reached 1 16th on those after the cutting, but um, they go into their slots and just press them in, it's really sort of pressing them sideways down into the, down into the slot. Okay? You want to apply as little force as you can to those um, ribs. Now you have a choice right here, they're all stuck in there. I can look down the line and see that those are those are in pretty good alignment. I could come along right now and hit each of those joints with a little bit of CA. Uh, what I'm going to do instead, and this is just my personal preference, is to get the leading edge in place next. Okay, so this you know, lifts it up off the building board a little bit. I'm building the wing upside down, obviously. The, uh, you know, the curvature of the ribs is down toward the table. Um, okay, so there's four ribs in place, which is great. If this thing will hold together without any glue on it whatsoever, then I can check for alignment right now. And I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and uh, I see a little bit of a need to twist out a twist, but uh, now I'm happy with it. I'm just going to put it back on its back and uh, just come along one after the other. Each, each little joint gets a little small dab of glue, and you absolutely don't need to handle it any more than uh, is, is necessary. So my, my sense of this is if you can just you know, hardly touch the thing at all, during the build, and that seems funny, but uh, the less you can touch this, the better off you'll be, especially until it gets covered because it's sort of weak right now. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of accelerator, speed things up, and then I'm going to look at it one more time. And if I see anything that's wrong, um, all is not lost. I see something wrong here. I can actually, I can actually bend the wood gently. Oops, stuck myself there. I can bend the wood gently up or down to get it uh, into whatever you know, whatever straight, uh, straight state I can, uh, I need to do. Okay, that one's ready to go. Oops, stuck myself to it. There we go. That's good. Let's get out the, let's get out the uh, main wing. Here's the spars, and it's the same kind of routine. Actually, the main wing is a little more robust. The, the spars are thicker and the, or they're wider, I guess, and the. Um, the ribs themselves are also a little bit more robust. So, the ribs on this kit are the big four, the big four that uh, are about halfway across the piece of wood there. Oops, that's all right. That's all right. Okay. So I have four ribs, same routine. I I, I like to start in the middle, not at an end. Uh, not sure exactly why that is, but it's the way I do it. Okay. One, two, three, four. That one goes in there like that. That's good. Almost get it in there, press it in. Then you want to just look at it, make sure they're all kind of seated in their little slots all the way in. Uh, you know, do your best. You'll notice possibly that the two outer ribs here are angled slightly inward, and that's to uh, and that's to help create a bit of a curvature in the outer rib when I attach the other spar. That curvature helps the um, helps the uh, geometry of the polyhedral bends when that comes along. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to get in the front, front spars. And you, of course, still have the choice. You could go ahead and glue the rear ones right away if you want. There's one, two, three. Get in there. And get in there, you. Press it down. Sometimes I like to take my little stick and force the, force the ribs down in their slots just a little bit. And that helps to make sure that the upper edges of them are flush with the top of the uh, spar. Just makes for a little bit uh, cleaner covering job in the end. It's not 100% vital, but that's what it's there for. Okay, flip it over. I'm going to look at it, and this one does have a twist. It's pretty apparent, so I see that I need to twist the whole the whole structure like this. And remember, there's no glue in here yet, so I can get away with uh, with anything. This as long as as long as it's pretty straight. Um, and even even then, if it's not perfectly straight now, we still can do it after it's all glued. Okay, now that's ready to go. On its back, 
a little CA at each joint, just a little smear of CA. And if you wanted right now, you could absolutely just take a little stick of tight bond and uh, get the rest of it. In fact, why don't I demonstrate that right now? I'm just going to open up the tight bond, put a little down, there's a little blob. Take a stick right here and just take a little dot of it onto each joint. And then we'll have to come back to uh, once it's all dry. And uh, I'm not going to smear out the tight bond. I could, but I'm not going to worry about it. It'll dry naturally quickly enough. You could use Ambroid. You could use. Uh, you could even use Elmer's if you wanted to. So I'm going to set that aside and let that dry while I do the uh, wing tips. Okay, so wing tips come in a left and right or a port and starboard, depending on your background, I guess. And um, the first one goes easily. It's the second one we need to worry about because it's the second one where you're going to make a mistake by possibly accidentally making uh, two lefts or maybe two rights. So the, the thing to look out for here is the um, you know the little the little writing on the um, ends of these spars on this kit anyway, and uh, you'll see that these two say T or tip, and these two say R or root. The the one that says tip is the leading edge, and you can tell that because the slots are angled with respect to the spar. The trailing edge is just straight one two three, and the large the largest the longest uh, rib goes toward the root end of these things. Now something just happened here that I noticed that that one slot is pretty loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to moisten the end of the moisten the end of the uh, rib, and that will make it swell just a little bit. And then when it goes in there, it'll cling just long enough to get uh, some glue on there. So there's one, there's two, there's three. Again, I'm, I always start with the trailing edge. And uh, if I like what I see, again, I could come along and uh, hit these with, with glue right away. But I'm going to do um, my usual thing and get the, get the leading edge in there um, first. So uh, let's see. There's the middle one. I like to begin with that. Then there's the tip. Here comes the root. Okay, now while I'm holding this all together, I'm going to look at it from from uh, fore and aft, and uh, I see a little bit of twist, and I just got rid of it. I'm in good shape there. So onto its back, it goes, and uh, sometimes, sometimes you can lean down and uh, take one last look at it before you hit it with glue, especially if the ribs are a little bit loose. Okay, if it's if the ribs are nice and snug, you don't have anything to worry about. But this one here, I see I have kind of loose ribs. So I'm just going to kind of flex it until I'm happy, and um, there I go. I'm ready to go right there. Okay, so here comes a little bit more CA, and again, I'm I'm only touching it with the very tip of the bottle, not doing anything to uh, stress the airframe just yet. And uh, you know, this is a this is a common uh, thing, which is even if you even if you have a problem, like I just did, my ribs just came out. Even if you have a problem, it's never too late to fix it. You know, this is balsa. You can Repair it till it's uh, you know till you're blue in the face anyway. Okay, let me get in there. You, it's not going too well. Okay, I'm going to do a little move here. I'm going to get the middle one glued in place. I'm going to spritz it, and then uh, come along and get the other two. So that'll just give me a little little time to work with it. Get that first one in. That's in. Get the tip in. Another sight down the uh, spars looks good, and then here comes the the glue on the other two that I didn't just get. Okay, a little glue there, and uh, come on, you get in there. Good. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Good to go. Now let's take a look at it, and uh, if I'm lucky, everything's fine. Uh, I'm good. I, ha I could have a you know possible little twist. And I could maybe undo it just by flexing this. Like I say, the wood is is surprisingly malleable. You know you don't you don't believe that if you haven't built one of these delicate things. But I can bend this wood, um, you know, to undo misalignments right up to the moment I'm covering it. Okay, there's one wing tip. Oops, I didn't mean to put that over there. I meant to keep it out here while I get the other wing tip going. 
two spars on you. You can do it. There we go. Two spars and three of these wingtip ribs. That's really all for that piece. Make sure there are no more pieces that you might want and uh, should be good to go. Okay, now let's let's do this carefully. I want to make sure that I'm exactly uh, symmetric, you know, with the first wing tip. So let's see. I think I'm good. There's my roots. There's my tips. The root gets the long rib. There we go. There's one. There's two. And that's kind of, that one's a little loose in its slot, so I'm going to do the, it's going to motion a little bit, and uh, in just a second or two, that'll be, that will swell up enough so it stays where it's supposed to, and then that last one there, okay. And that, that business about it being too loose or too tight is really due to the, you know, very minute differences in what constitutes 16th wood. Now, uh, if it's too tight in the slot, which can happen, what you want to do is gently squeeze the rib from side to side. You know, I can demonstrate here. If I just kind of give it a little pinch, try it, pinch it again, try it, and, and eventually it'll come out just fine. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hit these with glue right away, even though I'm, I don't have the leading edge on. I'm doing that because of those loose uh, ribs. Sometimes it just helps to, helps to get some glue in there. Okay, so it's one, two, three. And you know what? If it's not aligned perfectly, no bad thing will come of it. We'll fix it in a minute. Okay, now that's uh, nice and, you know, at least it's monolithic. It's one, one structure. And I can come along and get the leading edge into place. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, and that, that is staying on there, so I can pick this up, have a look at it. And yeah, I got a little twist, so I'm going to I'm going to, um, I think I'll get the middle root in place if I can, and just see how much I'm twisting that. You can really flex the heck out of this thing, and uh, eventually it'll all, it'll all make sense. It'll all come together and nice and, nice and uh, aligned. Okay, so don't don't worry if things don't look perfect when you when you first get it together. They will eventually. Okay, I'm gonna get that one down there like that. Sorry, I think I went out of the camera shot there. That's good there. Maybe bend that one up a smidge. Good. Okay, and even if you happen to crack a spar, you know, everything's 100% repairable. Let's see, where was I going? I want to get some glue there, a little there, a little there. And that's probably too much, but, you know, not going to worry about it. That's good, that's good. And I think I heard a little tiny crack when I was flexing it, so there's a little fix on that one. How did we do like that. You can live with that. Maybe, and now, you know, this, you're not done. You know, you can still flex this thing and get it aligned uh, quite a bit. Okay, now I like the way those look. So I have two symmetric wing tips, and I have a wing, and I have a stabilizer. Whoops, didn't mean to put in the glue there. All right, next I'm going to get set up for uh, covering.